Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mega Modded series. We are rebooting the Streaky Streak and we are going in for another run and we are doing... Uh, do you know what? We did Tainted Mass Demo recently. Yeah, that's a bit better. We'll do Andromeda. Andromeda sounds fun. Let's give it a go. We've been doing a lot of Mass Demo. I don't know why Mass Demo has been showing up so much, but yeah. I, I absolutely love um, Andromeda, of course. He is... Oh! Ah! No! <laughs> I scared the shit out of me. Uh, oh, Lord. Yeah, of course, he is uh, a very fun character. Do you know what? Genuinely a pretty good item. Ah, oh, what? I, I immediately forgot. Right, because that's that's essentially just 2020, right? Oh, I lost a soul heart already to that. That is what I would describe as an absolutely ginormous oof. But yeah, we've essentially just got 2020 for free. Like, the Wiz Shot is genuinely a great item for this character because it essentially has no downside. Like, it doesn't actually affect how we shoot in any way, shape, or form, from what I can tell. It just doubles the amount of tears we fire. So, pretty, pretty good start. Of course, we have quite a lot of little dumpsters dumping around, doing their dumpy, dumpy thing. I'm hoping that the terrible mistake of blowing myself up doesn't come back to haunt me, but we shall see. Also, an incredible trinket that I will spend a bomb to get. This is a fantastic trinket. Tears Multiplier, as long as we don't have red HP, we're playing as a character that literally never has red HP, so it's just a huge tears up all the time. I very highly doubt we'll actually ever swap this out. Did get a speed down, but do you know what? Our luck is, is in a decent place right now. We're, we're getting some good stuff. So, I shall not curse the game. I shall not curse the game. Okay, it's made you a champion, which I didn't know could happen. Please don't die. This is genuinely a very horrible, horrible, horrible boss fight. Please give me HP. Thank you. I desperately needed that. Okay, down to the next floor. God damn, things ain't going too hot for us right now. But yes, question of the day. Let's let's get to it before I forget. Also, planetarium. Ho oh, ho, very nice. Um, before I forget about it, question of the day. This is just a real simple one. When is your birthday, and what do you normally do on your birthday? Very simple one. It, obviously, you don't have to tell me. Do not feel obliged. But if you want to, do tell. Um, ooh, this is pretty good. Uh, chance to get a holy mantle shield when taking damage. Nice. Also, with Dunscap, this looks beautiful. Um, I think this is from the Andromeda mod as well, which is even better. Yeah, you want to walk right into all of those, don't you, sir? Um, mine is the 24th of August. And normally, I, I tend to just have, like, a house party or something. Because I, I like drinking. I am British, therefore drinking is part of my being. Uh, the very fibre of who I am. But I will definitely shift on that bad boy. Pisces, fire rate upgrade. But remember, it's going to be even higher of a fire rate upgrade. Our character is looking funky fresh right now. Um, Yeah, normally I just have a house party. Because like, like I said, it's kind of the fibre of my being to like drinking. And I very much do like drinking. But I actually really don't like going out. Like, I, I live in a city that, that has really, really good nightlife. And a lot of people like going out. I don't really like it because mainly I like I do enjoy it. It's not that I completely hate it, but I kind of I like I have a I'm a pretty social person. I can get on with people pretty easily. But at the end of the day, I'm still quite introverted and still enjoy my my time alone more so than I do with people. Even though like I said, I do enjoy time with people, but I have a limit and when you go on a night out, normally you rely on other people wanting to leave for you to be able to leave because normally you're inebriated and you've got to get like a taxi or something. So you kind of have to play by other people's rules and most of the time the people that I'm out with like to stay out far later than I would ever wish to. So we end up coming home at like 3 a.m. instead of what I would do and come home at like 12, 1 o'clock. Um, so normally I end up staying out well past the peak of my ability to tolerate other humans. Um, and just generally I get quite tired and like if I have a house party, I'm in my own home, I can just go to bed when I want to. If I'm out, I can't and I have to wait on other people to be able to, which it, it just doesn't doesn't vibe with me it does not vibe with me so it's it, yeah it's just it's just kind of one of those um well hello 
We do have four cent. I'll give this a go. They can take up to seven, so it's not a guarantee that this will open. But we got it. God damn. They drop solo the keepers way too often. <laughs> God damn. They have a 5% chance, apparently. Nah. Also, we did get an Ace of Hearts, but I think the money is a little better for us right now. I will take the Ace of Hearts, though. But now we can uh, nip back to our shop and take a little lucky loo over there. Let's go. God damn. I love the setup that we've managed to occur for ourselves so far. We have some very interesting stuff going on. And Dreamcatcher doesn't exactly make it more interesting, but it does give us half a soul heart per floor, which I feel is something that cannot be underestimated. Do you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna give I'm gonna grab myself the nickel and I'm gonna do this to the rest of them and get unlucky. Oh no, no, I got a soul heart out of it. The rest of it, a little unlucky, but there you go. I thought why not? Give it a go. Give it a bash. But yes, I just tend to have house parties. And in, the thing is as well, when you have a house party, like when you, well, sorry, when you go out, you can you can get drunk, you can you can drink whatever you want. That's that's fine. Is that a double tinted rock? Um, you can you can drink and whatever. Yeah, that's that's cool. Oh, nice. We got the new champion little horn. That's so cool. Uh, this guy actually throws out proper fire troll bombs now, and you can't kill him with his own bombs anymore. Although it's not a troll bomb for some reason, but it's still a fire bomb, so it's a win in my book. No. You devilish Andromeda piece of shit. <laughs> God damn it, I hate the way it pushes bombs around. Stop. God damn it. I lost health there for no reason. I did get marbles, which I would love to take advantage of, but I doubt I'll be able to. Um, especially considering we've got Hollow Heart here. This is a toughie. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a very low chance to, to gulp. I can see what the hell. Um, I've never seen this before. I will most certainly take Bob's brain because I am, in a word, stupid. Also, Bob's brain is looking stylish. Absolutely stylish right now. Um, yeah, I think we just go. I want to go to the downpour and stuff, mainly because for one, the floor's a little harder. I feel it's a little more enjoyable, a little more of a challenge. But also, I really want to show off and see the new champion versions of all the bosses. This is a ridiculous ridiculous looking room. No thank you. Th this is a room where if I get farted, I will hit the spikes. Pretty much guaranteed. So I've got to be very, very careful. But yeah, Bob's Bread is actually a genuinely very, very good item. But what, what was I saying? Um... Oh yeah, like, when you go out, you, you, can, you can have a drink and get drunk, but I feel like I always feel a little unsafe. Like, it's not as if where I live is, is a particularly unsafe place, but like, when you're out and about, not in your home, and you're getting really inebriated, like, especially when it's you're only with other inebriated people, there's an element of, of uncertainty to your safety. Or at least for me, and it, it makes me a little uneasy. Whereas, if I'm at home, I can drink literally as much as I want. I could I could drink until I pass out and I have no fear of any harm befalling me apart from harm that I cause myself. Because, yeah, I, I'll just go to bed or pass out in my living room and be fine. <laughs> I'm not saying I drink until I pass out. I've, I, I, I've only... I don't think I've ever done that, actually. I, I've, I've, I've drank so much that I got tired enough to just, like, fall asleep on the spot, but I, I don't think I've ever passed out. Um... In my in my memory, I'll be honest. Then again, I do have a reasonably high tolerance to alcohol. I think myself sound like an absolute drunk here, but I am just general Brit. Oh, I hit myself. But that is why the holy mantle exists, ladies and gentlemen. That's why it exists. This run is so fun. I'm having a lot of fun here. Um, I think we'll gravity shift this and see what we get. Gemini. Not great, but we're uh, we're now one off Spurred, so I can't complain. Although I don't even know if I want Spurred, because Spurred is like lag machine. I'm not a big fan of the Spurred transformation. I really wish you could like remove it from the mod, because I think like, I think Andromeda is like a ridiculously high quality character that's just incredibly fun. But I think Spurred is kind of a bummer. Not every time, but like I'd say like a good like. 40%, 50% of the time I've found it, it's not been great. 
Uh, we could get an, an angel deal. And we got the halo too. I don't know what we're meant to be doing here. We're meant to be going to the lamb. Um, we, we don't have an extra bomb, unfortunately. I'll just leave. We'll try and go back to the mines if we get another bomb this floor. I'll try and remember that. I will try. Got ourselves a loaded dice as well. I don't really know the best use case for a loaded dice, I'll be honest. Oh, also, something I didn't consider with this run. We have Pisces, don't we? So we're going to be pushing enemies around like crazy. Which is kind of funny. What the hell? I was like, what the hell hit me then? And I was like, oh yeah, I've got Bob's brain. I keep forgetting that. It's because it's respraited. I, I don't know why, but it's just tricking my brain to thinking it's not Bob's brain. Even though it looks identical to it. And I remember picking up Bob's brain. It's still just something about it doesn't feel quite, quite the same. I'm just going to do this. Oh, I was really hoping they'd crawl right into that swarm there, but apparently they were not interested. Okay. Grab that. Oh my god, we are getting fairly lucky with our HP so far. Boom, bow. And we don't know what this is, so let's just go in here and hope. That's good too. And there's Scorpio for Spurred. Yeah, we'll see how Spurred ends up reacting. We've not got anything particularly lag worthy. But this is another thing that I, I think is a little problematic with Spurred. Is not, not particularly because of the lag. It's just, it's redonkulously easy to get on this character. And it's quite strong. I do think it needs turning back or making it like significantly harder to get on this character. Because I don't think I've had a single room where I haven't got Spurred on this, uh, this character yet. Which is, I think, a bit of a problem. Look at this. Another Soul of the Keeper. I, I, I even messaged the developer and was like, hey... You need to turn down the soul of the keepers on these, because you get them all the time. And he's like, nah, it's 5%. I did testing. It's like, I literally haven't opened a single one of those chests yet that hasn't given me soul of the keeper. And considering it costs money to open, it feels weird to get more money back. Like, yeah. I know that other chests do that, like eternal chests can pay out with a key, golden chests can pay out with a key, but it shouldn't be happening every time, right? Oh, we get divorce paper, adoption papers. Do you know what? I'm going to grab adoption papers just for now. I will come back and grab my tears up again. But my, but my thinking is, just try get one shop as long as it's obviously not greed. Which it will be now that I've uh, committed to this adoption papers thing. It will be greed. But my, my idea, my intention here, is if we pick up adoption papers, we can maybe get a pretty good shop. As long as it's selling at least two familiars... And as long as they're not terrible, let's hope for a succubus, um, a, what's it called? Um, the twins, the one, the one with the two. What the hell's that item called? I, I do not remember at all. So we get ourselves great already. And Guardian Angel, both good stuff. Um, I guess I'll take a, a bag of tissue just for later. And there you go. We got two pretty good familiars there for, a, for, for 15 cents. The cost of one regular shop item. Wait a minute, 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 wait a minute. I don't think I did see one, but I have to check now. Okay. I was like, was there a reroll machine? Because if there was, there was some potential there, but there clearly isn't. I am just, as they call it, stupid. Uh, secret room. I kind of want to find it here just because I have a feeling it's next to this boss trap room here. It might not be, but if it is, it's a free item. There you go. See, see, this is what I'm talking about. This is just... Why? Why you like this, people? Thank God I can't see what item is. Otherwise, there is a severe chance of mega depression. The double pill. I've got to take it because there's two of them. Do you know what? Very happy about that. Um, and then, do you know what? I'll play this a little bit. Holy shit, we got a lot of spin downs. Okay, so first of all, let me just grab my spin downs and move those along. And then grab the other spin down. Might as well open the chest at the same time. 
move that along. I just, I want to keep these. I don't even know if I get to use both of them, but. We got ourselves an item. Ooh, that's really good. Okay, how many items we got in this room right now? We got ourselves one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seriously, seven? Why? I guess I could give up one spin down shard to make that work. So we don't know what item it is. So, I, like, it might be worth spinning. I'm going to spin this down just in case. Decap attack. Um, Is decap attack good? I think so. We seem to be creating more tiers, right? I'm not entirely sure, I'll be honest. All right. Um, let me just count again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, we need something to carry. There is a pill back over this way. I don't even know why I'm doing this, because bag tissue has let me down so many times in the past. It has been genuinely worthless on numerous occasions. But I feel I owe it to the the bag tissue to actually try so we put that there so now if we go back now i do i don't actually know if bag tissue takes into account the room that you're in the item pool i very highly doubt it does uh but what it'll do is it'll consume everything in that room and give us something based on the quality of the things in that room the things in the room aren't even of that high quality but i still think it's 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 worth a gamble Pet rock fly. You see, it's it's it is what it is, but it's not great. <laughs> like pet rock fly, he chills, he vibes, but he's not the best. Question is, do we gamble the next spin down dice on our boss item, hoping for constellation prize, or do we carry it to the next floor and hope for the best? Where the hell am I going? Grab that again. Okay, there you go. I got it inside you. Decap attack's pretty good with Andromeda. I'm gonna gamble. The boomerang. Noise. Completely useless. I don't know what I span down. Do you know what? Just to depress myself, I'm going to go and have a look. Because I guarantee it's like the pentagram or something. Platinum God. Do, 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 do. Boom. Boomerang is ID 338. So we go 339. Uh, oh, okay. It was safety pin. Honestly, didn't lose out on that much. That's fine by me. We are going to go down to the mines because, like I said, I want to try and see some of these champion bosses. And I gen generally just like these floors a little more anyways. There's not a whole load more you can you can finesse out of these floors, really. But I still like them. I'm going to check this out as well. We've got the uh, we've got the goods. That's off a black heart and rather nice. Whoa. Golden bombs as well. Boy, oi, oi. Okay, that was very worthwhile. So I'm not exactly sure how decap attack is working with our shots. Is it inc is it increasing the amount we fire or not? I don't think it is, but maybe. And then shoot the whoop. I like shoot the whoop. It is better, most definitely. But I feel like I I owe it to decap attack to try it out. I've not really ever given decap attack it's due apart from when it used to have that bug but I believe that bug's patched now right we do have a one room one room is all it takes uh I would do that if it abided by tainted eden strats and, and it would give us items from the same pools that we have items from but it's not going to do that it's completely random I feel like that could be utter chaos. We're not even on a very high streak right now, so maybe 
Do you know what? We'll, we'll, we'll reevaluate by the end of this floor. I tell you that. We'll reevaluate by the end of the floor. This is a ridiculously weird room. If by the end of the floor, I don't feel like the run has improved that much. Like bas basically, if the items I get right now aren't incredible. I mean, if they are incredible, I could just leave them and pick them up after the reroll, actually. Um, necrosis. Plus one broken heart. Chance to fire clumps. Clumps leave farts on impact. Clump. That sounds kind of cool. I'll leave that there for now. I don't know how intrigued I am by that. It seems reasonably interesting. And we got the old urn. I mean, I might as well pick up the old urn because it's going to drop the soul stones no matter what. Ooh, baby, do you know what that's worth? And we got some interesting stuff here. Uh, I'm going to pop this here for the triple rooms. Do we have any enemies in here? Oh, yes, we do. Certainly we do, boyo. Grab these bombs. I'd be surprised if we don't get ultra secret room out of these three. This is in a pretty prime time spot for it. Wow. I have unfortunately been shat on slightly. Um, we got Soul of Eden to, to back us up for later. I'm still unsure on what I want to do. I, I definitely do want to reroll, but I know it could end my run. Also, do I keep Spurred if I reroll? Because I really like my flight, and I would not like to lose my flight. Goodbye, you. But, like... I feel like this run is great in the... I... What the fuck is this? I hate this. Yeah, I feel like this run is really good. But there's, there's definitely better out there. Like, we could get a better run somehow. And we got Champion Singe. Hello. Is this the X-Lax Singe again? We, we did get Champion Singe recently. Yeah, this is the X-Lax Singe. Pretty interesting version of him. Not ridiculously different. Definitely a cool concept. Sad that we saw the same one again, though. I would like to go to Mausoleum, but the, the health situation is a little... Leaves a little bit to be desired. Okay. On that note, I am most certainly going to go reroll. That is devastating. Giving me Tropicamaya. 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 Uh, let's find our secret rooms first as well, actually. Boom. Bow. That was it, second secret room, wow. Uh, blank rune is... Mm, don't really care, actually. No, I I'm not going to do it, because I've, I've been burned by that before. I use the blank rune, and we think, ooh, I could get a Yera out of it, and then it black runes everything, and I lose my fucking Soul of Eden. That, that would be truly devastating. Well, I, I thought it was devastating before. That would be a whole nother level. Let's go to our shop as well. Oh, a planetarium. I see. I wasn't expecting another one. What we got in here? Mars. Mm. <laughs> what happens if we gravity shift this? I can't remember. I can come back in here. Anything. Yeah, I'm going to gravity shift that later. I, th I think if you gravity shift, don't you get four regular items and you can choose two? I can't remember exactly, but Mars is, Mars is like, it's cool, but it's incredibly niche. Doesn't really work on most runs. Oh, also, let's drop my Soul of Eden just in case that matters. Right, so. I got nine lives. Um, I did get two planetarium items. Ooh, okay. I got electric dice. I got almond milk. Vesta with the fire. I got giant cell. I got this thing that destroys all my tears on screen, which is nuts. This is a pretty strong build, I think. I think we've managed to look into something pretty great here. Definitely with electric dice, getting a better active could be quite nice. Where's our shop? Did we go to our shop? Oh, yeah, of course we did. Of course we did. Uh, right, so if I gravity shift in here, that's exactly what it does. <laughs> we got we got Dunn's cat back. Hello. Oh, we only get to choose one, though. Okay, that's a shame. I, th I thought we got to choose two. But... I'm still perfectly happy with Dunn's Cap. That, that doubles the amount of tears we fire. Ugh. Also, guillotines in here. Uh, it, 
does look like, unfortunately, we lost our transformation. We no longer have flight. But I feel like this is overall a better result. Almond milk is spotty, but I think with the uh, the yellow um, planetarium item we have in the bottom left there that does this, we should be able to have a pretty good time because that deals, like, redonkulous damage, if I remember correctly. And we can even do this, watch. We can go, like, gravity shift, boom. Like, look at that. That's that, that's pretty cool, right? Uh, and you know what? Let's go to the mausoleum just because we have the HP to do so. But with gravity shift, I feel like we maybe have a pretty interesting strategy here. Now, I don't think it's going to be, like, marketable. I don't think it's going to be, like, super usable on every single... Um... Oh, do you know what? So, do you know what? That's genuinely an item that is better for us. So I'll buy it. But, yeah, I don't think it's going to work on every single room. Um, I think we need to gravity shift and then go... Brum. The one thing about it, as you can clearly see, is the range leaves a lot to be desired. It's pretty... Ooh, Solar Lilith. It's, it's not great for us in that department. Don't bash my bomb. You little... Stop it! <laughs> Stop moving my bombs! Where the hell do we get all these wisps from? Seraphim. I like Seraphim. Cool with me. IBS or unknown? I think not. Chance to shoot spectral poison tears that have a random worm of Yes, flat damage up. And a chance to spawn as black hearts. Booyah, baby. We straight up in the money now. We pooped out three eyes there. Three. Do you know what? Even without this little strat... Oh, we've also got deep pockets. Even without this little strat that I... Uh, theory crafted. We're doing pretty well. I think that strat's only really going to work on the boss rooms, just because it's very, very hard to hit a lot of enemies using that. And also, not having flight harshes it a little bit. I was really hoping it was another reroll room. Doubles our bombs. Why not? Spawns a restock machine. Now that I can get behind. So I'm going to have to, like, tap shoot a bit here to make sure I delete all my tears off screen. But I'm, su I'm, I'm very surprised, actually, at the very limited amount of lag that I'm experiencing. It's not no lag. Like, we're definitely do dropping some frames. But it's a lot less than I was ass assuming it would be, considering. A lot, lot less. So we pop, we pop in here. Let's let's get ourselves a full a full spool going. We go pop that, and then we gravity shift. Get over here. Okay, she she pushed them all away. You spooky bitch! You can't do that. Boom. Dead. <laughs> Bit of HP is pretty good for us, actually. A blessing of protection. Um, you know what? I was just about to say, don't, don't do that, actually. Uh, blessing of protection just means that enemies can drop soul hearts and eternal hearts, right? Um... I love that. So, now, I think we can do a bit better than that. We got another Halo. Um, I want something a little more interesting. I realize that that could be a hugely disappointing idea, and there's one of the more interesting things already. Holy Mantle is... Very good, too. Um, Glyph of Balance. Yeah, do you know what? I'm just going to take Glyph because we're going to be Genesising soon. After this next floor. Why not? This has been a just roller coaster of emotions for this run. We, we're, we're, we're getting three runs in one. I really like this setup, so I'm hoping... Genesis provides us with something pretty awesome. I'm really hoping we get a bunch of, like, shit-tier items on this floor. Oh, my lord. Hello, Spike Ball. Get a bunch of shit-tier items on this floor so we can Genesis them and not feel bad. 
I don't want to get some things that's going to, like, revolutionize the build and create something amazing if we're going to have to just axe it immediately. We have Zodiac. We had something that was making our tears green on the last floor. Don't know what that was. Maybe they were just green because I had Scorpio and then rerolled. No, because that doesn't make sense. Hey, Eternal Seal's popping off. Oh, hello, Blood Dumpies. The amount of tears on screen right now is redonkulous. So, oh, we got Champion Air. Uh, look at these dudes. They look awesome. You are going to die immediately once I get in contact with you. There you go. Curdled Heart, we can't take that right now. Oh, that's a Dominic. You got me, game. You got me. Hello, you. Goodbye, you. Okay, unfortunately, I haven't seen any of the rooms that would give us items so far. <laughs> just, just impressive. How? Seen so much of the floor. Probably should go to my care room, considering I've got Holy Mantle too. I did kind of forget about that. As I often do. Not having flight. Having flight and then not having flight is is one of the biggest brain fucks. Right. I wonder if we'll get the wish shot back again. It'd be really funny if we did. And I would take it 100% of the time. Okay. Right. Nerve pinch. I guess just gravity shift to see what we get. We didn't get anything. Ah, you bugger. Now I feel betrayed. I could have got another item to Genesis. Also, we managed to smell our trinket at some point. Don't know when that happened. Glad it happened though, because it's a good trinket, but never, never occurred to me that it actually happened. Oh, I love that. It's the laggiest thing, but it's amazing. It just annihilates. Also, like they're in, they're in a bunch of different wacky tier effects from that uh, planetarium item we got. Look at that, beautiful. Is that not the room over? Who the hell's left? Mr. Burns for over there. Okay, cool. We can buy Broken Murdom here. Oh, wait. Oh, no, we can, we can, we can. We, we just gotta be a little careful about it. I mean, no, we don't. We got Holy Mantle. What am I talking about? I mean, I didn't get hit anyways, but still. Righty ho then, hello. Would you like to instantly die? Uh, I, I, I mistimed that. She instantly died anyways, it's fine. Um, we're meant to go into the lamp, so I will take this. And then let's genosis. See what we can build. So, that's incredible already. That's pretty good too. Sacred Orb is pretty awesome. I can't remember what picking up an item like that does. It was a friendly monster like the one... Okay, I don't really care about that. Tears up. There they are, the buddies. These are the boys I was talking about. Twisted pair. Um, Yeah. Also, we got the higher fire rate with Twisted pair, which is pretty good. Hmm. I'll take the guppy item. Why not? Take a bit of guppy action. I don't think any of the, these other ones are of benefit to us. Ooh, a bit of Sacred Heart. Sounds good. Uh, I'll take this. I'll take this for breaking rocks. Take this for the HP and such. Uh, I'll take this. Lodestone. Grants a curse. All starts up for every active curse. Repl uh, replaces a curse if three or more are active. 
Oh, it's, a, it's an active item. Okay, now I'll take this instead. Bomb tears sound drastically awful, so I'll pick them up. Eden's soul is always a fun one too. Tower of reading's pretty good. Ooh, we got it back. I think I'll take it. I like it. We got Luna. Um, plus one empty uh, heart container. 5% chance to heal for double the amount uh, of damage taken. Each hit increases the chance of healing, after which resets back heal. Soul hearts as well as taking red heart damage no longer decreases. Yes, it's new, so why not? Electric dice. Holy mantle's back. Holy water. Can I sleep in the bed before I leave, or do I have to do it after? I, I don't remember. Uh, anyways, let's go with Sky. Mr. Dolly. Willow. I think Lusty Bud's a little bit better. Dr. Fetus. We've had that problem before. I'm not, not risking that again. And I feel like we've come out with a pretty good run here. Um, we got a Soul of Isaac to, uh, to run off with as well. Yeah, cool. I'm, I'm pretty happy. Let's go. It's, I, I don't know which run's better. I feel like Twisted Pear is going to elevate this, especially with the Sirens song. God damn, like... Whoa! What on earth? Why, why we got, like, a infinity symbol? I think that's our Twisted Pear doing that. That's weird. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. I just realized something. Lodestone is insane with this setup. Lodestone's pretty insane with this setup. Perfection's about. I don't really think we need perfection. More of the void looks awesome with that respray. But I don't know. No, I, I foresee it. it we've, we've got homing, so I'll take it. We don't really have enough keys for this to be worthwhile, but at the same time, why not? Like, we must certainly have enough damage to make it worthwhile. Oh, thanks for that, Paul. That'll really help us. 2020. <laughs> Cat food. Boss rooms drop five. Ooh, that's a really cool item there. Not that it's useful for us, so I'll uh, sort of Isaac it. <gasps> Emolacria. <laughs> I don't even know what this will do, but it's going to be fucking crazy, isn't it? Oh, God. They are taking quite some time to fall. Quite some time, indeed. What happens if we uh, do this? Oh, my Lord. Whoa! <laughs> it's fucking crazy. If you get enough of them going, launch them into the air. It's raining, man. Hallelujah. <laughs> hey, that's a really good spot for, for a little gutsy boy to be. Oh my lord, the damage is pretty, pretty bonkers. I expect it to be good, but oh my. This is awesome. This is such a cool build. Three of the coolest runs you could have in one. The amount of explosions on this man right now. Yeah, ro uh, gu little gutsy dude, the little, um, little sucky boy there is in a just fantastic spot for us right now. Look at that. It just eats up every shot the dude fires. sucked up that entire attack. Look at this! He's just eating literally every single shot he fires. I can't- honestly, I can't see what's going on, and I, I do apologize if anyone out there is epileptic. I mean, if you're watching Isaac and you're epileptic, you're already fucking dead. I'm sorry to say it, but that is not a good combo. Um, but goddamn, the screen is flashing like crazy. I don't know what's causing it, but game don't like it. Well, that was 
fucking cool. Right, uh, does anyone remember how um, Soul of Eden works? Does it? I can't, I never remember if it abides by um, item pool or not. Inventory. Effects. Tom spawns two random item pedestals using the item pool of the current room. Okay. Oh god. This build is redonkulous, isn't it? Absolutely redonkulous. It's raining balls of fury. Hallelujah. We got Trash Bag and Pyro. Yay. Unfortunately, two reasonably terrible items. Destroy all the rocks. Give me that cell heart, baby. More of the Void with this is, is also pretty amazing. You see that? What do you have in there for me? Ah, you little troll. A bunch of keys. I don't need your keys. <laughs> this is such a cool run. This these are the these are the runs that are like basically impossible to thumbnail. Like, they're so difficult to, like, title and thumbnail. Like, what the hell do I even call this? Just three... Also, why is my axe fighting so small? Do I just call it, like, three runs in one? Or, like, I, I, I don't know. Because it's, like, obviously with titles, you've got to make them clickbaity enough to be... To, for people to want to click them, but not... I don't want them to be clickbaity and that they're false. I want it to be truthful. Um... I don't want to actually clickbait, but you have to do a certain element, a certain level of clickbaitiness in your titles, because it just works. Like, this, it's the reason you're watching this video right now. <laughs> like, especially those those people that only watch some of the Isaac videos and don't watch daily. Like, that's what that's what hooks people. So it's like, what the hell do I, what do I do with this one? I don't even know what this would do, but I want it. Oh my. No, thank you. Gold flakes. Even more fire out from a familiar. And a golden bomb just to top it off. Holy shit. The damage. The damage output is redonkulous. Boom. You never even got a chance, sir. Uh... Ooh, there's a chest here, too. Dark Pump. There you go. A perfect room for you. Look at that rain. The chariot. I don't think we'll need that. Oh, a blessing. Oh, wait a minute. Doesn't matter. They're all dead. I was going to go press that button. Whoa! What happened to this room? It looks awesome. When did this happen? God damn, this room got an overhaul and it looks awesome awesome. Well, there you go. <laughs> That's about the long shot of it. What a crazy run. I hope you guys did enjoy that one and I'll see you guys in the next one.